The Grey Man was just released last July 22nd, but the talked about his second movie is already on the table. Will we be able to see more of the villain, Denny Carmichael? Keep your hopes up because Six is coming back for the sequel. How long do I gotta work for you? Let's just say you'd be indefinitely useful. After its release last July 22nd, The Grey Man has amassed a lot of mixed reactions from fans and viewers. Surely the presence of highly acclaimed actors like Anna de Armas, Chris Evans and the Grey Man himself, Ryan Gosling, has acquired viewers. It's hard not to watch a star-studded movie, especially if the movie is starred by some of the most gorgeous actors the world has ever seen. Although some viewers have expressed their divided sentiments with regards to the pacing of the movie, the overall reactions from the fans have allowed the movie to rise to fame. The movie has only been available for everyone to see for less than two weeks, but it has already garnered a Rotten Tomatoes audience score of 91% and it has debuted in Netflix as the number one movie on the streamer in 92 countries. With these data, it's not really hard to think about the possibility of spin-off or sequel given that the first movie was based from a book by Mark Graney that is part of an ongoing book series. Should the fans expect a series wherein they get to see six avenge and fight bad guys? Who knows? But according to the Russo brothers, we're still about to see the fun part. I have eyes on Dining Car. Target imminent. Ryan Gosling, the Grey Man himself, has expressed his desire to do a movie like The Grey Man and has reiterated how he would love to do another action-slash-thriller movie. In an interview with Steven Weintraub, Ryan Gosling has said, I always wanted to make an action movie. It was my first love. It made me want to make movies. When asked what genre of his movies would he want people who have not yet seen anything by him to watch, for years, we have swooned and sighed with how gorgeous this man is through his romantic and slice-of-life movies that the world has agreed to some of the most heartwarming and heart-wrenching, in a good way of course, movies. Yes, Ryan Gosling might be the perfect leading man for any type of romantic movies, but this genre is not the only genre Ryan could easily sweep viewers from their feet. It was evident from The Grey Man just how much more charismatic Gosling can get even if he's punching off enemies from left to right. In a separate interview with Jonathan Fuge, Ryan said, I loved making this film. I'd love to do it again. I'm hoping we can bump Six up to a name status at some point, just for his own sanity. And this just shows how Ryan Gosling is more excited to show us more about Sierra Six and his smart ways to get out from the adversaries as a hitman in the upcoming sequel and spin-off. He's a very smart man. Only family I got. Closest thing to family I got too. The infamous Russo brothers has also expressed their desire and eagerness to pursue another movie about the insane Sierra Six. They were also the first ones to reveal that Netflix is already in talks with them about a second movie. The Marvel directors have expressed that they are now filled with ideas on which direction will their movie go. In an interview with the Russo brothers, they shared, the sequel will be inspired by the Mark Grady novel. Translating from one medium to another often requires interpretation, but we have an incredible amount of source material from an amazing offer. We'll draw on that for the sequel. The brothers shared that they would like to do something that edgier and somewhat unique from what the first movie has showed to us. The Russo brothers have not failed viewers in terms of action and thriller, and The Grey Man would totally not fail them in that area. Joe Russo, in an interview with Deadline, said, Wernick and Reese will write the spin-off, and we're going to do something a little more edgy and experimental with that. He also explained how and why their film will be having a hard R rating. With those words alone, are you not excited yet? The Russo brothers are seriously giving their all in this series, and it's hard not to look forward and hit that like button. Wink. With regards to production details, little is currently known given that the first movie has only been recently available, but what's sure is that Netflix will not be frugal about it given that the first movie has a budget of $200 million, one of Netflix's bigger budgets for an original. With that being said, it's best if fans expect the same budget or even maybe a bigger one for the sequel, especially now that the first movie has been receiving love from people around the world through Netflix. The Russo brothers also expressed their desire to continue making streaming movies rather than creating movies that is strictly for theaters because as Joe Russo has once said, it's rather elitist to think that the movies are solely for theaters. So fans should expect more from the Russo brothers and Netflix in the upcoming years. Aside from the production costs, what's more exciting is the fact that the spin-off slash sequel will be written by Deadpool's Paul Wernick and Red Reese. Denny, that man is nothing but wrong. Don't be a brat. It's gonna help you clean up your mess. So now I'm the scapegoat. The addition of these veterans in the production team will surely give the upcoming sequel more of the comic sensibility of the first movie that the viewers and the fans have seen. Now for the question, 
who among the cast from the first movie will be in the second movie. Based from the ending, well, this is mildly a spoiler, so viewers' discretion is advised. The fans will surely still be able to see more of Ryan Gosling's Sierra 6, Anna de Armas's Danny Miranda, Jessica Henwick's Suzanne Brewer, and Julia Butters' Claire Fitzroy. It's also given that we'll be able to see more of Reggie Jean Page's Danny Carmichael since his character is still lightly touched during the movie and it would be pretty frustrating not to see him get what he deserves after being such an antagonist. Aside from these actors, it's also expected to see new characters played by entirely new actors given that the plot of the novel the sequel will be based off has new characters. Isn't it exciting to know that it's highly possible to see more highly acclaimed actress star in this already star-studded movie? If the plot is interesting, then it's a no-brainer that the second movie will surely get the praise it should deserve. Does this play involve me living? Yes, yeah, you're gonna live. And you should go. A lot of blood. Now for the most awaited part, what will be the plot for The Grey Man 2? Since the first movie was based from a book series of 10, about to be 11 by 2023, books by Mark Greeny so, it would be a no-brainer to expect details from the book series. The first movie did swerve away from the source material and there were a lot of changes in terms of details, but it should be expected or it's highly possible that Netflix sequel will adapt from the plot of the second book entitled On Target of the Book Series. The plot of the second book is about how Court Gentry aka Sierra 6 or the Grey Man himself is once again on the run from the CIA and his old foes. In this book, he meets an old friend, Sudarenko, a Russian arms merchant who forces him in a deathly mission of assassinating Sudan's president, Abud. The supposed assassination of the president would trigger a genocide and what makes it worse is that CIA is also planning something about the president. The book is mainly just about Sierra 6 trying to get out of this deadly and taxing mission in one piece and sane, although it's highly unlikely, haha, with the Russo brothers swerving away from the source material during the first movie. It should also be expected that they change details in the second movie. There is currently no specific release date for The Grey Man 2, but with the announcement of its early development stage, fans should expect a 2024 release date. And that's what we all know about The Grey Man 2. There is so much fans should look forward to, especially now that Sierra 6 will undergo new adversaries and meet new allies and fight against new enemies in order to preserve his sanity from being crushed. Now, if you enjoyed this scoop about The Grey Man 2, then we're here to serve you the hottest popcorn. So why don't you smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to get the latest scoops about the film industry and brag around the next get together. You'll love these videos next. Oh, God.